Hey guys, it's Jess with Tech and House Inspections. I'm here um, to grab a radon. It's my day off, um, but I'm here picking up a radon. And um, when I did this house the other day, the roof was um, the whole roof was covered in snow. And I said, you know, um, when I have to come back here anyway, I will. Um, I'll take a look at the roof if the snow is melted off. And I pulled up, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to explain to you guys um, in the northern states. Um, this sort of phenomenon. I explain it to my clients, but I'll flip this around and show you what it looks like and then we'll talk about it. So the issue here you can see is, you know, you can see all that snow we had and it's still sitting on the garage roof and you can look up at the house roof and there's no snow on top of it. And see the nice blanket of snow still on the garage roof? So what's happening there is, um, you're not losing heat. This is the importance of ventilation and insulation. And when I did this inspection the other day, both of those things got called out that there wasn't um, any soffit ventilation. So um, let me flip this. So right up what you guys would call the eaves or the overhang, that area there, um, that's actually called your soft. And this house doesn't have any soffit vents. That's really where the cool air comes in. Um, that's where your attic inhales, so to speak. Um, and then this house has a ridge vent up the peak of the roof. That's where the hot air comes out. A ridge vent is really an exhaust vent. So this house doesn't really have um, any soffit vents. It just has the old original gable vent. Show you here. That's those. Um, so there's not a lot of cool air coming in. And you might think, oh, that's great. It'll keep my house warmer. Um, but the problem is it actually keeps your whole roof warmer and um, and then you are missing a lot of these older homes they just didn't have that much insulation in them and there really hasn't been a lot of insulation added as you can see that's why it's all melted off um, people that say oh it's the sun that melts it no it's it's not it's um, and you can see that when you go through these other neighborhoods like I'll sh the other houses across the street see that house there see how it's all gone on the roof and it's still sitting on the garage so it's a um, it's a pretty well documented, you know, sort of issue there. Um, but if you have a nice blanket of insulation in your attic, that keeps the heat from your house, heat that you're paying for, it keeps the heat in and then you add ventilation and that makes a nice cold pocket of air that really, you know, you want to see when you drive around a neighborhood, you can always see who's upgraded their ventilation and insulation of their attic in these old homes because there will still be snow sitting on their roofs um, like it is on your garage. That's why you see it sitting on top of the garage and not over the house because there's no heat source in the house or in the garage. So it's not, that's what's melting the snow off of your roof. Um, so if you find that phenomenon in your own home, if you go out, outside of your house a day after snow and all the snow has gone off of your roof and it's still sitting on your garage time to check in your insulation and ventilation so just something i thought i would make a long video about and show you guys on this uh, snowy day take care